Hello furniture friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Destiny and I'm a stay-at-home mom that's passionate about turning old, forgotten, or unloved furniture into beautiful one-of-a-kind pieces. Join me as I take you along on my furniture flipping journey, sharing tips and tricks and the highs and lows of transforming these pieces into something special. Whether you are a fellow DIY enthusiast, a stay-at-home parent looking for a creative outlet, looking to make extra cash, or simply curious about the world of furniture flipping, I hope you'll find inspiration and enjoyment in following along with me. So let's plug in the sanders and get to work. I picked up this vanity for $20, not knowing the previous owner was a smoker, and unfortunately not a smoker of delicious barbecue. This piece was absolutely covered in nicotine, so I got started right away by giving this a super deep clean with bleach and soap. And I made sure to thoroughly clean the drawers also, the inside, the sides, and the bottom of all the drawers. As I was cleaning the inside of the vanity, I came across these pictures and I just think it's cool to find pictures of the owner of the furniture and just see what they were like. Before I start sanding, I want to change my filters. I know um, they're a little overdue, um, so I just got my new filters in the mail. I'm going to change them out really quick and then get back to work. I know a lot of people ask why I don't just use chemical stripper and that is the quickest way but it also is very stinky and it's winter time so I don't have proper ventilation and my basement is already cold enough so I just don't really want to have my basement door open along with fans going just to use the chemical stripper. So for me, it's just easier to use my carbine scraper and my sander and get it done that way. we 
So I decided that I don't really care for this little decorative piece, so I'm just going to mark my line and cut it off. And also to make it a little bit more comfortable, I decided to widen the leg hole. I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but I had to keep stopping because it was literally smoking. And you'll see after I cut this piece off that it was burning the wood. Since this piece was in a smoker's house, it still smelled like cigarettes. So I am taking some clear shellac and I'm going to coat the entire vanity. That includes the bottom side and the inside where the drawers go, including the back and all of the drawers. The entire vanity got at least two coats of this and some parts I even did three.
I knew I didn't want to keep the old hardware, so I went ahead and filled the holes just in case. Um, but I ended up ordering some new pulls off Amazon that fit the old holes just fine, so this was kind of pointless, but oh well. If you watched my last video, I tried gel stain for the first time and I fell in love with it. So I decided to pick this one up and it's called Briar Smoke and it's a very smoky brown. It has a lot of gray undertones and it's so pretty. Also, excuse the bag. Um, I didn't have any gloves, so I'm just improvising, um, but I'm sure this is very distracting, so I apologize. Moving on to the best part about furniture flipping, painting, and I like to keep a little mister bottle on hand um, because I use chalk paint a lot of the times and it just helps the paint glide onto your furniture and minimizes brush strokes. When that coat of paint was dry, I used a 220 grit sandpaper to knock down any texture. And when the wood filler was dry, I sanded it down so that I could paint the first coat of black paint on the drawers. There was a video that came up on my YouTube page um, of this lady. Her name is Cristana, and her YouTube name is Bella Renovare. Uh, hopefully I didn't butcher that. I'm sure I did. But anyways, um, she's extremely talented, and I watched a video of her painting stripes on a dresser, and I absolutely loved it, and I was very inspired. So I'm going to give it a try. So here we go.
that my stain is dry, I'm going to top coat it. And I'm using a foam roller brush. And if someone can tell me why I keep getting these uh, bubbles when I am painting with a roller, that would be great. Uh, like I said, I'm using a foam roller brush, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, but they're quite annoying. <laughs> Now I'm getting ready to top coat the actual vanity. So I'm mixing a little bit of my black paint so that it doesn't look um, streaky. It's crazy to look back on this vanity because it just doesn't even seem like it's the same piece of furniture. It definitely should have gone to the landfill, but I saved it. And I'm super excited to be able to sit at this desk and create videos for you in the future. Although I'm going to have to find a cute chair for it first. I hope that I've earned your subscription today and don't forget to like and leave a comment. It helps small channels like mine grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!